Lab at Five, we told you about fertility clinics and facilities all across the state announcing their plans to pause IVF treatments, in vitro fertilization. Well, now state lawmakers are stepping in to address concerns over the Supreme Court's ruling. Our Shelby County reporter, Anjani Robinson, live at five, talking to a local doctor whose clinic is one of those pausing those fertility procedures for now, Anjani. Yeah, that's right, Jonathan. As Sarah, I spoke with Dr. Michael Alleman from Alabama Fertility Specialists. Now, he tells me that they were in shock and in disbelief when they first heard about the Supreme Court's ruling, specifically the language and implications of the decision for their patients and their ability to practice. Now, after the ruling, the Alabama fertility specialists put a hold on their treatments at all of their clinics, including here in Birmingham. Unfortunately, we've had to make the decision to hold on treatments for some of our frozen embryo transfers that were planned, as well as some of our upcoming fresh IVF cycles until we can get some clarity on what the implications of this are. Now, Alleman tells me they are hoping for some legislative relief on this situation to not only protect fertility patients in the state, but themselves as well. If there is going to be a hearing um, on Wednesday in Montgomery regarding one or more of these bills, we're prepared to go and, and give testimony and support uh, to that effort. Now, next steps for this clinic depends on what legislator, what legi what the legislator does and expert advice from their consultants, lawmakers and their lab directors. Now, there is a concern that this won't be an easy fix for lawmakers. It may take a constitutional amendment to get past the state Supreme Court's decision. Reporting live from Shelby County, Ajne Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your working on new legislation to protect access to IVF treatments. House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels today talking about a bill he filed that would define any fertilized egg or embryo outside of a uterus as not a human being. Republicans in the state Senate are also working on their own plan to exempt those IVF embryos from the court ruling. Both of those, though, still face votes in the House and Senate.